guys so for today's video i'm gonna be doing something that i have not done in ever i've never done this before and i'm really excited to do it what i am doing is a first impressions and review video of a foundation and this is a foundation that is not out yet so this is by hourglass um i got this sent to me which is amazing because i've never got sent something before so i was super excited this is the hourglass new vanish seamless finish foundation stick it says it says with the coverage of a concealer and the fluidity of a liquid the weightless and the weightlessness of a powder vanish gives you the versatility to create looks ranging from sheer coverage to fully contoured flawless finish they also sent me the brush so this is the vanish seamless finish foundation brush which was made with PETA approved ultra soft talc and bristles. This brush is formed in a unique shape to fit into all the contours of your face um, and offers an ideal density and texture to achieve the most seamless finish. And this brush is really soft. These retail for $46 each and the brush retails for $46 as well. So they'll be available on Sephora.com starting July 19th and they will be in Sephora stores starting July 21st. So I'm not sponsored by Hourglass, they just sent me these and I'm just gonna review them for you guys. So it says it says double the amount of pigment versus the traditional foundation for instant full coverage, which I like. It says the formula adjusts to body temperature to blend to the skin for the smoothest, most seamless finish. It has 12 hour long wearing and a waterproof formula and it's available in 26 shades. It comes with 26 shades, which is really good and it goes all the way from very, very light to dark, which is great because I know a lot of foundations don't go dark enough for a lot of like you dark skinned ladies out there who want to wear foundation this is great that it goes all the way to a really dark shade so it'll be able to accommodate everybody which is great so i think i'm going to go in warm ivory it just looks like a better match for me the way the product design is really cool it's kind of got this triangle shape to it which is really really nice and you just kind of twist it up like this so like it said i'm just going to put three dots on the side of my face and then blend it out so i'm going to put one here one here one here i'm going to try and blend that out first using their brush Obviously, like they said, it starts off with light coverage and then you can build up the coverage. So I'm just going to apply a bit more to build up that coverage. Oh, this brush. I love it. <laughs> and I'm really liking the way that it's looking on my skin. The color match is literally perfect to my neck and my body. It's the perfect warm shade. I'm loving it. This brush really helps just to blend it into the skin. The real test I think is gonna be putting it on my chin because that's where I have the most chromatic areas. So if this can cover up my chin, I'll be very impressed. It's a very creamy stick. There's definitely not any dryness to this foundation. So far, I'm very, very impressed with the overall application of it. I'm just gonna carry on and do the other side of my face and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in a lot so you can kind of see the overall finish of the foundation. So I think it looks really amazing, to be honest. <laughs> um, it's really flawless, as you can see. Like, it definitely covered up basically everything, but you can still kind of see my imperfection through it, but I prefer that in a way that it's not completely, like, no freckles, no nothing, which makes it look a little bit more natural at the same time. Um, you can't see any foundation lines. You honestly can't tell that I'm wearing a foundation if you really look at it. Um, it's really flawless. It kind of has like a like a demi matte finish. It's not. It's matte, but it's not fully matte, and it is a little bit tacky to the touch, just a little bit. Let's have a little bit of tackiness to it. Obviously, I haven't set it yet or anything, so I'm gonna go and carry on and do the rest of my makeup, and then I'm gonna get back to you guys once everything is. Neat. Okay, so I went ahead and applied the rest of my makeup and I'm just gonna give you guys my overall first impression of this foundation um, I love it two big thumbs up for me overall so far I mean this is just a nipple in the initial application so most foundations do look their best initially anyway But it's very flawless. Um, it blended amazingly all of my other makeup went over top of it really really nicely um, I did set it with a powder um, I just used the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Power and Diffused Light to set it, so I didn't use any loose powder and I didn't bake or anything like that, just a normal powder and I just put it a little bit all over my face with a big brush. But overall, so far, I'm really enjoying this. It blended amazingly, it looks super natural on the skin. It just looks naturally flawless. Right now, I'm giving it two thumbs up. I have combination skin, so I get oily within the nose area the most, my chin and a little bit on my forehead, not as as much but and then I'm a little bit 
I'm more just normal on my cheeks. They're very normal area. They don't get oily or dry. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see how this wears. Um, today I'm just going to get my hair done and I'm gonna check back in after that. So right now it is 9.43. So we're gonna put that on the clock right now. It's, I'm gonna check back in when I'm back from my hair appointment, which will probably be around two. So we'll see how well it lasts. It does claim to be wa a waterproof formula and I'm getting my hair done. So we'll see how well that lasts as it's very likely that there might get some water splashes on my face. So we shall see people, we shall see. I'll be back, bye. Okay, so I'm back, it is now. My mom's just leaving. It's now 3.38. I forget what time I filmed the last part, nine something. So it's been definitely a couple hours. I'm just gonna show you how the foundation's held up. I haven't set it with any powder or anything yet. So as you can see, it's gotten a little bit oily in my oily parts, which I expected. It didn't say anywhere on it that it was gonna be a matte foundation. So I wasn't expecting it to be like one of those ones that stops the shine or anything. It still looks really, really good. Um, this is natural lighting. I'm just standing in front of a window right now so you guys can see like the lighting. It hasn't caked up too much. Maybe a bit in just the places where it's gotten oily, like my chin has a little bit of cakiness to it, but that happens with almost every single foundation because it just, the oil builds up there, so it gets a little bit But overall, so far, it still looks really, really good. My hair done, if you guys can't tell, I got it a little bit lighter. Um, just a little bit, but yeah, so they were definitely like putting like water all over my forehead and everything and it's still looking pretty intact to be honest, so good job Hourglass, you're doing very well. And I changed if you were wondering. I was wearing a dress when I went and got my hair done, but I'm home now and I'm not planning on going anywhere, so I'm wearing a big t-shirt and some really comfortable loose shorts. I'll check in again in another couple hours before I take it off. Hey guys, so I'm back again for my final update. I zoomed you guys in pretty close so that you could see my skin. So it is now 7.05 p.m. And this is probably the longest I would naturally wear a foundation. If I was gonna wear it throughout the day, I'd wash it off at this point. If I wanna wear makeup, if I'm going out, I would redo it. Overall impression, it's not bad. It's very oily here in this area, very oily. It hasn't really broken up anywhere, it's just gotten oily in my T-zone area. And it has gotten a little bit cakey around the mouth, just a little. But this area in my, um, the sides of my nose has gotten very, very, very oily at this point, but I have been wearing it for a very long time and it is 30 degrees out today and I was outside, so that obviously has an impact on it as well. Plus I have oily skin. So all those factors are going to go into it, but Definitely oily. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys back out and then give you my final rating on this one. So my overall rating for this foundation is I'd probably give it a four out of five and I would recommend it for people that are on the drier side of a foundation because it is very, very seamless. It's not a drying formula at all. So if you did have dry skin, this would work out very, very well for you. The brush, I would give a five out of five. I would use this with any of my foundations. It's amazing, it's so soft, it blended it in perfectly. This brush is amazing, probably for any foundation that you could use, really great brush. I would give these a four out of five. Um, I think they're amazing, the coverage is really good. It was very natural looking, even after all day long. It still looked very natural, it just got shiny. And I have oily skin, so that's one of those things that I always have to look out for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of a review. I've never done one of these before, so yeah. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye. Gorgeous. So it's this really, really pretty white off the shoulder dress. It has a little um, arm detailings.